Are you suffering from the dreaded down tube battery rattle on your e-bike? Well, I'm not. I mean, I might, but I can't hear anything so I got these things crammed in my ears. Listen to some heavy tunes while I ride, you know. Disco, disco, duck, waka, waka, waka. I do have a battery issue though. It's in the rear. We'll talk about that later. First, let's address that front battery issue that's plaguing so many of my fellow e-bikers. I've already gotten a couple of comments about folks uh, hearing a bunch of rattling and clanging coming from up there. I don't personally have that issue, obviously, but if it's bothering y'all, it's bothering me. So I'm going to do a little digging. You can obviously tell there's a little bit of wiggle room in here, but when I push the battery all the way in and I'm holding this plate as if the frame was closed, it's in there pretty good. I might be able to kind of get it to knock around a little bit. So first I watched a bunch of videos of guys that had the same problem. You know, they used all manner of like duct tape and Velcro and little bits of padding. And obviously it worked for them. So I figured I would try my take on that. So I had this self-adhesive closed cell phone lying around. I actually tie flies with it. It's like, I guess, an eighth of an inch thick but sticking this on both sides i had the damnedest time getting the battery in and out and when i did it was just it was lame you know i kind of lubricated it a little bit even but it just did not work out for me i didn't care for it at all so my next option was this gorilla 3650 patch and seal tape it's a little bit thinner um, but it's really gooey really sticky it's rubberized it would do a good job insulating but I wrapped this around the battery. I could not get it back in the tube. And I had a feeling that once summer comes, this would have been turning into a big goopy mess. So not a good idea either. So after jerking with that a little bit, I realized that it's probably not a good idea to stick a bunch of stuff on these things. These batteries are designed to dissipate heat. There's heat sinks in here. So sticking a bunch of crap all over these batteries, I just, I don't feel comfortable with it. So I figured I'd go a different route. So my big idea was to take some of this self-adhesive insulation, I guess it's like for a door jam or a window, and it would fit perfectly down that little track that runs alongside of the battery on the bottom of the tube. And once I started getting in there and looking at that, I kind of looked up the tube and I realized there's like three extra inches of dead air behind the battery in there. So what can we do with that? So I cut a little chunk out of the packaging that the bike was shipped in, about three inches, a little bit bigger than this, and crammed it up into the tube and then got my battery in there. At the end, it was a little bit of a tight fit. You know, I had to compress it a little bit, lock the battery into place, and voila, it was super snug until I found one more little spot that could rattle. So when you lock the battery into place, the pin that goes through the hole in the frame is a little bit smaller than the hole. So that could be a cause of a little bit of a clang. I cut a little chunk of grommet, crammed it into that hole, just a pass-through grommet like you would any other kind of wiring through a firewall or something, and then locked that pin into place, and that pin was in there good. It wasn't going to be moving around, and if it did, it had a little bit of a buffer zone between it and the steel. So that's my take on that so far. It's the easiest fix I can come up with without wrapping a bunch of crap around your battery. Um, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. I'm going to ride it for the next couple of weeks and I'll give you guys details on how it worked out here in my next video. Now on to my rear battery issue. And this is purely caused by me being a knucklehead. So after almost 700 miles of jumping and bumping and vibrating, that little pigtail, the screw in points on the cap of the battery, they just disintegrate it. So I got on the horn with Walkie and they sent me a new one right away. And uh, that's going to fix the issue, no big deal. But we got to take another step to make sure it doesn't happen again. And hopefully you guys can learn from this so it won't happen to you. So in order to avoid this happening again, I decided to start riding responsibly, nice and mellow on designated bike paths like a responsible adult. <laughs> Screw that, man. I'm going to strap that battery down just like an enduro. <laughs>
So this bike just happens to have speed holes in the frame right under the battery, which fit the bill perfectly. The straps went right through there around the battery. Bing, bang, boom, zip them down. That battery ain't going nowhere. So that's all I got for y'all this week. Uh, really appreciate all the comments and likes and subs. You guys really inspire me. I appreciate you so much. Um, I think I might be done turning wrenches on this bike. Um, no more mods. I might get some new tires. Um, I just heard of a cool handlebar mod that I'm thinking about. No, no, I'm not doing anything else to the bike. I'm just going to ride it and enjoy it. Babe, I'm home. What are you doing with my grill? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. But I might have something special for you coming up here soon. See you next time. Cheers. Maybe.